Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on a target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust up. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the same waiting. Hey, Mace. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? You see, there's info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go.
can work so hard. Oh. You're up, Mason. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, I, I, I just handled the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think Jeez. you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules? You have rules! You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, he's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. This is not... Oh. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Mason, check it out. Inside of a Raj. That's not him. Left side. Mirage might be in the truck. Positive ID. That's our man.
1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man best suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Got it. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through today. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Seems. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Oh man, Adler? Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is gonna have to wait a little while. 
We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to! Let him up! There! Get the bell out! Me, Bell. Let's do this. Open the door. Richard! Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. Coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Badger Niner One, this is Ripcord. We are still under heavy fire. VC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready. 
ready for transfer. Roger that, Niner One. Keep the assets safe as long as we can. Ripcord out. Badger Niner One, in the air! BC are all over the mountain! Sock? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already. Not yet. Somehow, Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? <sighs> We're okay! <laughs> Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun!
go with us? We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yo. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from... How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Denang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for seven years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has... Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture.
soon as the train slows down, you and I'll jump off. Part, Lazar. Wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right. Train slowing down. Let's go to work. All right. Here we go. Careful. East German guards still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Weiter für die Bahn. Ich suche über meinen Ausweis. Das ist Sperrgebiet. Sie sind verhaftet. Runter auf den Boden. Halt, halt, halt. Beruhigen Sie sich. Wir... Now! Das ist so... Nice work. Let's clean this up. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Park, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. Lock a place down, I'll give him that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Kraus will be coming through any time. Look for Kraus with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Near the checkpoint. The man with the briefcase. Is that him? Just crossed the wall. What's your status? Lazar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street.
Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Kraus ist at the table over my right shoulder. Guten Abend, mein Herr. Was darf ich Ihnen bringen? Eine Berliner Weiß. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. Kraus is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Danke schön. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. Wo ist Volkov? Mann, ist die nicht gewogt. Gehen Sie nach Hause und warten Sie auf unseren Anruf. Rot und sein Pferd neu bestimmt. Wir kümmern uns um Ihre Schurken. Bell, we've got trouble. There's two Stasi entering the bar. Get out of there, now! Scheiße. Go through the bathroom. I'll hold them up. Ich vorne gleich rope den Platz da droben. I'm gonna need more time. Auf dem Heimweg. Sie? Rally up with the dark park without me. I'll update you when I can. Careful, Bell. The stars here are everywhere. Ich tue Ihnen nichts. Ist er weg? Vielen Dank. Ich bleibe, glaube ich, so lange. Wir sind in der Stadt. Wir sind in der Stadt. Wir sind in der Stadt. Wir haben genug Auf die harte Tor. Bart, give me a sit rep. I'm in a storefront facing Kraus's apartment. He just got home. You? The stars here calling the area. I need to lay low. I'll catch up with you when the heat dies down. Bell, get to Park and Lazar ASAP. Out. Say my now. They're looking for you. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I've done everything by the book. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you.
Profile belt, God help us all. Follow me. Stay quiet. We don't want the locals riding us out. Parks in the electronics store right across the street from Krauss's place. I was gonna pick her up some necklace from the brown bar, but it's closed already. The park is just up ahead. We're back. The car pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. What do you think, Bazaar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Park, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best name. Lovely. Stasi is stopping everyone. Be careful. Bell, I saw Kraus writing in the ledger. See if you can find it. Bell, if you're spotted by Kraus or his wife, the mission is over. You can train the wife if you have to, but Kraus must go to the meeting. I'm about to phone Krauss' apartment. Get ready to enter. Now find the briefcase. Hello? Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja, das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte, sie haben sich... Hören Sie... Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Mama, ich finde meine Decke nicht. Ich bin in ein paar Minuten oben, Wilhelm. Shit, we missed the kid. Papa, kommst du? Kraus is leaving his office. Hide. Putz dir die Zähne. Komm gleich auf.
running out of time. Find the briefcase. I've lost your visual. Let Perseus know I captured him. We have Greta Killer as well. Her own colleague read it out. You spineless piece of shit. I I'm sorry, Greta. The KGP's pockets are deeper. Uh, finally. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. Interesting. And what makes me suddenly worthy of your attention? What kind of fool are you? You think you will die with dignity here? You are damaged goods. We agree that you are a hunter. Yes, what a good! On behalf of MI6. Thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. 
an unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll info here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Percy's has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am low. Choose your target. Take your pick. Two more out of the top. That solves that problem. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. If you spot any good intel, snap a picture. Нужно подкрепление! Они обходят нас на фланг! Но надо пошло! something. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Guards down below. I'll move to the lower deck and engage on your mark. All right, I'm set. Твоя форма это просто позор. All clear, moving up. Be 
Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. Training course. Made to look like fucking any town USA. Oh the shit, we're starting. Fuck, let's move! If they want a live fire drill? Let's hook these fuckers up. Where'd we go? Understood, just in case. like a handful. some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. 
Does she sound mad? Move it! Looks like their command center. Come on. Jackpot. Computer central. Let's see what the Reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking around. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Arm. Tactical urban combat statistics. Restricted access. That's kid stuff. Keep looking. KGB daily reports. Restricted access. Boring. What else is there? Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play has been called. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. I'm right there. I can't fucking believe it. Park, come in. Park! Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Greenlight. That's what Perseus is after. And Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. What's your breaking up? Just get the hell out of there.
I'll drive. Yes, sir, I'm on it. You knew the nuke was from green light, didn't tell us! What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't gonna help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. And you're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau. I thought Hudson and we were buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, 
I wanted more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio when we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half. Heads up. Scout's on the ridgeline. We should drop him now before we get any closer. Good kill. Nice. Let's keep moving. Let's move! Damn, Mason. A little pent up aggression? Look who's talking. Shit. Mine kinda looks secure. I <sighs> hope this holds. See? Piece of cake. That's the old SATCOM building. Still standing after all these years. Barely. They got snipers. Don't let them spot you. Stay low. Keep out of sight. Clean kill. Sniper down. Nice shot. Here we go. I think they said they're prepping the mainframe for extraction of the crane. Ugh. Soviet engineers. <laughs> Red's on the helipad. Better take it. Don't cross. Mason, what's your status? Lost my damn gun. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Woods. Great. Damn, it's cold. Huh. 
crossbow bolt. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Но я слышал, что... Не I read you. You gotta be close. Over here. The ruckus you made. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. Sites. If I'm reading this map right, swing a few degrees to your left, more north. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. Steiner was working on all sorts of crazy shit. That Nova 6 business was just the tip of the iceberg. Looks like they're packing up and getting ready to move out. There, what's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. That's where we need to go. Excuse me? My, my winch?
something better hold this time. Hudson. We finished analyzing that meme frame that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you're with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. 
Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. That new and larger came in. I said. The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это писал с пол Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Did you get access to the bunker? That's what I like to hear. Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry. We just have to come back to I see you. Did the general come through here? And this no, is as no, far no. as I can take this today. <laughs> Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mole. How is that gone? <clears throat> I am not a patient man, Bilikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, you Belikov? Forward, no. Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <laughs> Sound thinking, Comrade Belikov. I would prefer it if only General mm. Charkov retains his bunker key. So you will see to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. 
I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. <clears throat> the traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. <laughs> Belikov, you are dismissed. <laughs> I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Have you ever been to Poland? Sir. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted so, here, I will what can I do for you? Now I need to hide the body. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. What can I do for you, Comrade Belikov? The General will be questioning a prisoner today, but should be available most of the time. Just let me know when you're ready to meet with him. I have a chance to kill Cherkov. Kravchenko's office will have the poison I need. Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. Help. You need my help. Save your breath. Ivanov won't cooperate. Yet. I should find leverage in the records room.
Okay, we should be able to lead them. KGB has his wife and daughter's abduction, so I'll be trained. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. What does my family have to do with any of this? Yes, anything. Please, what do I need to do? Kill him. Uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. I've just heard the most amusing thing. Let's chat once I'm finished here. Comrade, how's our friend doing? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have much. How can to I say. help you, sir? Oh, we'll see about that. Citizen Ivanov, I trust you're enjoying your accommodation. Yes, Advised, we have a situation in the holding cell. Yes, sir. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. Going to say anything? How can I help you, sir? Ludden. <laughs> you. 
Ah, Adler's team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Bielikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately! Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevator access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. The uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Tam, tam, tam. Я нашел не запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Here, our weapons and keycard are in the bag. This way. Since we're in the bunker, we're on our own. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. Куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем он едем к Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Просто Вичи, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Hmm. No, it's... 
когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. Товарищ командир, я не расслышал. Что вы делаете? Elevator conversation always gets awkward. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. прежде чем before they get through. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. Running out of time, pal. We're cutting through. Almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come.
to this. Let's go. Follow me. This way. Be a way out. You are surrounded. We have your friend. Got Belikov. Time for Plan B, Bill. Activate the gas. Throw your weapons and surrender, or he dies. Mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. <laughs> 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 Thank you, my friends. What's the situation up top? They are on full lift, melting the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. Heavy weapons by the enemy when they brought me down. We need to arm ourselves. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
You ready to move? It's about time. I've been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not going to let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee, I think. May I have a word? What's up? You available? You ready? Hastings left Salt Lake City. He tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Mark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Finding cover! Do the honors, Bill.
Dejen que arriben a la puerta principal. ¡Aseguren el laboratorio! ¡No me para esto! What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Contact! Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look Let's out. move. Take care, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up.
Go! 27B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Parker. Bell canvassed the room. Hastings, start talking. <clears throat> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! Adler, we got a shit ton of reinforcements. Oh, 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 Damn it, doors. Clear! Out of the way! Adler, I got eyes on an HPT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Lock it down! Moving! Window! Out the window! Go, Bell! Fuck me! The chopper got away! Fuck the chopper! We got bigger problems! Adler, where the bloody hell are you? Bog down! Don't wait for us! Prep for Skyhawk! This is Ground Team. Confirm you have visual. Roger that, Ground Team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Stand down! Heads up, Bark! You got snipers on the roof! Copy that. Bell, take out those snipers! Ducks! They're everywhere. Control burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. I think I'm ready for that drink now. <laughs> Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. We lend an assist. That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, oh, stop it. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good intact. Park, we need to hook into the line, now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! We don't have much time! Take cover! Shit! My legs! Contact in T I minus ten. Nine. Are they not on it? I can't.
was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another weapon.
CC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered DC soldiers meeting with Soviet Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another total seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead.
just ran away? That doesn't sound like you. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. were pinned down on a ridge, you readied your sniper rifle to assist. Killed. Let's go again. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck, open it! Give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. doing in the lab. Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Uh, 
Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. But we tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead.
the plane leaves trap zone, he is stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell. I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. 
some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! Bombers 
confirmed. Bombing strike imminent. Oh, look. Well, the bombers will be here any minute. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. A 
Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me... It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 